five rappers who were on top of the world then fell off hard. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Slap that like and subscribe button. Let's hop right in. Number 5. Tay K. With the careers of internet rappers becoming increasingly shorter, we often hear jokes about the artists doing rap speedruns, and Tay K, ironically best known for his single, The Race is no exception. The Race, the track, the single handedly put 16 year old Tay K on the map was also the obstacle that eventually prevented the rapper from finding long-lasting success. The track and its accompanying music video were released on June 30 of 2017. The very same day, Tay K was taken into custody by police in Elizabeth, New Jersey, police confirmed that Tay K had been on the run since of April of that year, after shooting and killing a 23-year-old man in San Antonio, Texas. Number 4. School Boy Q. Schoolboy Q has been battling with that type of rapper he wants to be for the majority of his career. He has proved that he is capable of making massively successful mainstream hits as well as thought-provoking and lyrically masterful concept albums. However, Q's inability to find musical balance between music that is commercially marketable and music that feels authentic to his vision could be the very thing that prevents him from realizing his full potential as an artist. He was a major label debut oxymoron, quickly established him in both of the hip-hop community and the mainstream as the album delved into the history as part of the Crip Gang and his struggle with substances while also birthing tracks like Man of the Year, Studio, and Collar Greens, all of which went on to be hits and received substantial video play to this day. Studio is Q's highest charting record song. Number 3. Kevin Gates before there was a road wave, a YNW, Melly, or an NBA, young boy, the South had Kevin Gates, who paved the way for those aforementioned artists. Similar to Drake, Kevin Gates was one of the first rappers to rap and sing on the same track but added the perspective of someone on the streets. People from the South know the Gates resonated with people like no other artist could. They loved his talent like it is his persona and the fact that he was okay with being vulnerable in his music. He built up a cult following with mixtapes like By Any Means and Stranger Than Fiction. But it wasn't until he became an XXL freshman and released his now multi-platinum single, I Don't Get Tired, that it felt like he was breaking out of just being a well-known name and a South, but it was undeniable that he was a star when he released the infectious song, Two Phones, followed by the album, Isla, which went platinum without features. At that point, it felt like he was the hottest name in rap. But that same year, he was sentenced to 180 days in jail for allegedly kicking a fan that tried grabbing him on stage. Number 2. Chief Keef Can you think of someone who birthed more new rappers than Chief Keef? I mean, the guy pioneered a style of music video that's still being replicated to this day. He's had a major record deal with the Interscope Records, who seem to be betting the house on his career. They reportedly gave him a 600,000 signing bonus, and he was still a teenager at the time, being a teenager. Keith didn't recognize the opportunity and had fallen into his lap, and because of that, he kind of screwed it up. Number 1. Fetty Wap The 2015 Fetty Wap seemed to be the obvious choice as the heir to the Trap Music Thrones, his single, Trap Queen, was literally everywhere. I Hit was not only all over the radio, but performing equally well in the internet community. Fede beat the claims that he was one hit wonder with the release of songs like 679, and again continually building hype for the release of his eponymous debut album, but Freddy's trajectory to the fame seemed to solidify when his song My Way earned him a cosign from Drake, who even hopped on the official remix, 
replacing Freddy's longtime collaborator, Monty. This brings us to the end of our video. That's all for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys could hit the like on this video and turn on notification. So when I upload next, you guys get notified would mean a lot. Also, if you guys could hit the big red button and subscribe to my channel, it would be great. That's all for me today. See you guys in the next video and peace.